Great. Okay. And I know you're incredibly busy, not only now, not only tonight, but pretty much every day. So we're very, very honored to have you. I think I'd like to go back to the beginning and talk about how you began, because I'm sure anybody in the room, whether they want to be in fashion or not, is wondering, how does someone become the editor of Vogue? It's a, it's a huge position to be in. Um, so how did you get here? I know you've worked at Condé Nast for a while. How did you begin? Did you always want to be the editor of Vogue? Was Vogue important to you as a child? Or was it not a part of your life? Um. I've been asked that question so many times. By now, I should have a really good answer to it, and I don't. Um, I was brought up in a family of journalists, and we always had Vogue around. So I always knew what Vogue was, and I loved it. And to me, Vogue wasn't a fashion magazine, actually. It was a magazine that was filled with a kind of a lifestyle and a culture, I guess, that I thought was intriguing and glamorous and stylish. And, um, but it never entered my head that I would ever really be part of that world, let alone be the person that was kind of creating, creating the magazine. Um, but I went into journalism. Uh, I, went, I got a job as a secretary on a magazine uh, about a year and a half after I'd left uni. No, maybe about a year. And I didn't want to be a journalist at all. Uh, I wanted to work in the music business, but I tried that and it didn't work out and I was jobless. And somebody said, oh, there's a job going as the editor's secretary on a magazine that existed then called Over 21 magazine. And uh, I got the job and I found that I really loved being on magazines. I love the whole business of the kind of the mix of it, the fact that you can, you've got fashion and you've got words and you've got retail and you've got big personalities and photography. And, and I realized that this was really the world I wanted to work in. So I kind of uh, managed to get another job um, through doing little freelance pieces, which was on Tatler. And Tatler is owned by Condé Nast, which is the same company as Vogue. And um, I guess I kind of slowly, slowly crept up the, the ladder. And you were editor of GQ for a while. Yeah, I came to, uh, I left Tatler, went to a newspaper, The Telegraph, came back to Vogue as features editor, and then I was made editor of GQ uh, a year after it launched. And at that time, it was in the very, very early days of men's magazines in they didn't have the kind of magazine like a, a GQ or an Esquire or many of the magazines that now exist. And um, so I got the job because they couldn't find a bloke who wanted to do it. Um, it seemed like they didn't really want to do something where there'd be lots of stuff about grooming products and fashion. And um, so I got the job. And then when the Vogue job came up, for one strange reason or another, even though I'd never actually worked in fashion or women's wear fashion, um, I landed Vogue, and that was 1992. 